Welcome to a battle between two different tools that are going to help you refresh your old clothing, the sweater shaver and the good old fashioned razor. So I am a big thrifter. I love selling things on Poshmark and Macari. I like to wear things I find in Goodwill and other thrift stores. And oftentimes they do have some amount of pilling on them. For a long time, I just used a good old fashioned razor to get rid of that pilling, but I wanted to know what else was out there. And I had heard that people were using something like this, a sweater shaver and having pretty good results. Now I found this one on Amazon and it is Amazon's pick. It's got tons of great reviews. So I wanted to test it and see, does it really do anything more than just your typical run of the mill razor? That's what this video is going to be about. We're gonna start right from the beginning from the unboxing. So here we go. I'm going to open it up, let you know what is inside here. Um, it's a cute color. There's that, it's got that going for it. This is a handheld battery operated sweater shaper. Do I have batteries for this? <sighs> okay, got batteries. Put them in here. We're ready to shave. First test in a lettuce sweater I got from Goodwill that had a crazy amount of pilling. I decided to do the left half of the sweater with this Conhair lint shaver and then the right with the standard razor. And you can see as soon as I started with the Conhair lint shaver, there definitely was immediate improvement on that side when you compare it to the half that I haven't even touched yet. So you could really see the dramatic before and after in this shot. And then after I did one side for about five minutes, I opened up the lint collector in this Conhair fabric shaver just to see what was inside. And I was surprised there was actually a lot in there. I will say, however, it would be annoying to empty this all of the time. It seems like a bigger compartment might be more user friendly. Next, I tried my razor method on the right half of the sweater. I do quick little strokes, and if you use a razor and you have a completely different technique, definitely let me know in the comments what works best for you. And in the end, the razor removed some lint from the sweater, definitely not as much as the Con Hair fabric shaver. It also left the whole thing just like a little bit fuzzy. And of course, when I use a razor, there's also the added step of going back in with something like a lint roller, or if you're like me, I just use a piece of tape. For this sweater, I'd easily say the Con Hair fabric shaver takes the cake on this one, but keep watching because that is not the case for everything that I tested. Now, I actually sold this dress on Poshmark, but somebody opened a case because I did not notice this pilling right here. So this is a great example of something that we're gonna test out because pilling does matter. I don't know why I didn't see this, but I didn't. And this dress was sent back to me. So now we're gonna see if I can fix it up and we'll compare once again, the razor and the actual fabric shaver. Now I use the Con Hair fabric shaver on this side of the dress. I wanna note, I've been using this on a couple sweaters and I tried it here and now that excess is coming off here. I did empty the cartridge, but there still is a little bit of fuzz like caught in it and it keeps getting on the thing that I'm trying to shave. So I don't like that. That is definitely one negative about this. And the razor on the other side to remove that pilling. Honestly, on this dress, I liked the way that the razor worked better. I don't know if it was just because the shape of it is smaller, it can get into those crevices. But so for this particular piece of clothing, I'm going to give the win to the razor. And now for the ultimate yoga pants test. Anybody that buys athletic wear from the thrift store or secondhand store knows that often you'll find a little bit of pilling right here where the legs are rubbing together in the crotch. So a lot of times I will use a razor for that. It can be difficult because you can definitely accidentally cut the fabric and then you're screwed. We're gonna start with a sweater shaver and just pray. Uh-oh, I have a problem. I accidentally cut some of these threads. 
that did not happen on this side. So, I guess for yoga pants, I would go with this one. My final thoughts are, you know, if you're expecting miracles to be done, these are not gonna do that. They're only gonna help you out a little bit to remove that major pilling. You're not going to make something look like it's brand new, but in terms of price, which, you know, this is only $12.99. This is what, like a dollar or something. Um, I definitely would be willing to spend the $12.99 on this because it's a lot faster. And I think it gives like a cleaner, more crisp appearance. The difference is I think that this razor still might come in handy for certain fabrics and certain little crevices that you would not be able to get into just as well with something like this, just because of the shape of it. Obviously, it's not going to be as good at getting into those tiny areas. So there is a place in my tool case for something like this, but I definitely think it's much more time and cost efficient because time is money to use something like this. I'm gonna put the link to this product below in case you're interested in it. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you are also living a sustainable fashion lifestyle like me, I've got tons of videos all about that, whether you like to do DIY projects on your clothes or you just like selling them on Poshmark and Macari. I've got a lot of tips about how to be successful in that realm. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching this.